It's a super gorgeous fall day out today. It's actually not even that cold. Could say that I really didn't need this jacket, but I am also like very excited to just wear all of my jackets. Um, but it's a Saturday, about to be 12, and I am just getting out of the house. Yoni is, uh, he has a big shoot day today for an event for one of his friends. So he's like not gonna be home all day. So I'm having a solo day today. Usually on the weekend, especially, we like spend the day together. And even though it is a weekend, I weirdly, it's like there's something very satisfying about going and doing work at like a coffee shop on a weekend. I actually have a video that I am gonna try really hard to finish today so I can post it tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm currently headed to a little coffee shop that I was working at yesterday, which is Friday and I was like super super um, Productive, so I'm gonna head back there again and get in the zone And it's like a really nice cozy fall day today So I don't mind at all just being in the cozy coffee shop with other people and having my coffee and I don't know just feeling the vibes so that's what we're headed to do So real quick, I don't know if any of you noticed or if any of you care, but I got a new phone and when I got my new baby, I was like, I got to protect it with the best of the best, which is Casetify. And this video is also sponsored by Casetify. Let me give you some background, okay? With their latest technology called EcoShock, you can basically drop your phone from up to 11.5 feet. And the cases are also five times the military grade. Quick relocation, I came outside because as always, we gotta put the Casetify case of the test in the drop test. She's good. I don't want all that protection if it means my phone is gonna look like a brick and feel like a brick. And that's why the craftsmanship is another reason why I love them because all of their cases are super slim and seamless. They always have new collaborations with artists from all over the world with new designs and prints. And you can also customize your case as I customize this baby right here. This case is made from recycled phone cases and that is part of their Recaseify program where they make sure that they recycle as much as possible and so many of their phone cases made out of plant-based materials and recycled materials. Casetify's iPhone Impact series is available now on casetify.com and if you use my link casetify.com slash yt you can get 15% off of your order. Thank you Casetify for sponsoring today's video and then now let's get back to it. So after about like six hours of editing my video is finally done. I am headed home now because um, I need to like do something else for a minute so i'm actually going to go to trader joe's because i've been meaning to make a um like pumpkin flavored something and i really want to make a pumpkin loaf which i know is very like ooh fall weather whatever but i mean hey can you blame a gal for liking pumpkin stuff like i'm sorry it's just good so i'm gonna stop by trader joe's and get some pumpkin puree because I have all the other ingredients and we're gonna bake something and feel very cozy and very fall-like.
waiting for the bread to be baking. I think it has another like maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. But I realized like I didn't eat much today. And that's usually what happens on days when I have to edit a lot. So um, I was gonna go get some food, but then I'm like, you know what? I can probably like just eat something simple at home. So I made some avocado toast for dinner. And I'm also gonna have one of my new favorite drinks. It's this Health Aid Pop. The apple flavor, I've tried a few of their other flavors. The apple one, I keep going back to because it's insanely delicious. And, um, oh my god, it's so good. Um, here's my pumpkin bread. I think it's a little overdone. I don't know if you can tell. It's like more brown and I can just tell like the outside is like really dry. <laughs> but let's see the inside. Is it overproofed? I don't know, Prue, is it overproofed? Like, hmm. Mmm. The flavor is there. I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> okay, so I'm here with my friend Brenda. <laughs> And uh, we are in Ballard. We're going to the Ballard Farmer's Market and also to a um, little like thrift situation pop-up thing. Do you feel awkward right now? I do a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. You're talking to a camera. Fit check. Sis check. With the sis check. See, you're more natural than you thought. This yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so let's go get some clothes. Bye. Where can I find 
So if you don't have a salad spoon, what do you do? You take like a mixing bowl and the, you know, drain the colander. colander. You have your lettuce in, right? And you just go like over the sink like this, like just shake it. <laughs> and then it, all the water. Actually, I don't out. have one of these either. So you need I melted it. <laughs> like honestly. So you should get, because you always want the smaller one for like, and this is for like lettuce or like more. Of course, but if you want to DIY it. Oh, here's gone. Hello. got home and I'm so tired it just hit me like both Brenda and I uh, we literally didn't say like barely a word to each other in the drive home because we were both like yo we just been walking around for the last like seven hours but I wanted to show you guys what I got I got this sweater from one of the vintage pop-up shops it's a little bit itchy, so I probably will have to wear it with something underneath. But it's very nice. I love it. And then that's like the only vintage find that I found. And we went to Everlane and I got this sweater vest. And then I got a pair of dark jeans. I don't know why. I've been like, I used to be so into just light blue classic denim color but recently i've been very much into the darker jean color and this one was really really nice and also these two together like these colors together let's see but the fit on the leg is really nice it also has the perfect cropped like right right at the ankle so you can see like a little bit of your sock and then the shoe and i love that look and then we also went to sephora i got a milk makeup primer and then i got this merit bronze balm like i have a bronze already that i use all the time but this one is like in a stick form like this so you can like draw it on so i don't know just wanted to experiment with that it's kind of slightly different color i don't know if any of you care but i just felt like showing you my go-to mascara it's like the best i love this mascara so much this is not sponsored obviously i got a new moisturizer because i just ran out of my old one it is a youth to the people the adaptogen deep moisture cream i love anything from youth to the people and that is everything that i got i don't know if you care or not but wow i am Tired. I need to get ready for the week, okay? Had my fun, had my cute moments, had my cute times, but now it's time to clean up. So I'm gonna put all of this away. There's a bunch of things that, like the kitchen is sort of a mess. The living room is also sort of a mess. So let's just deal with that. Let's, you know, like get our minds prepared. I got cozy. I'm starting to get the Sunday scaries because I haven't, like done anything to prepare for the week i've only been you know having a good time which is great and all but let's get you know let's get into winding down for the week ahead mm -hmm. 